Hello, twins. More and more people traveled on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. More and more ships came to the harbors. Everyone had to work very hard indeed. The freight cars complained bitterly, but then, freight cars always do, and no one takes much notice. The precocious complained too. No sooner had they arrived with one train, than they had to go out again with fresh passengers on another. We don't know whether we're coming or going, they protested. We feel quite distracted. No one could say, grumbled Henry, that we're afraid of hard work, but... We draw the line at goods trains, finished Gordon. Dirty fray cars, dirty sidings, Ah, put in James. What are you boiler raking about? asked Duck. I remember on the Great Western, that tin pot railway. Tin pot indeed. Let me tell you, challenge, ordered a well-known voice. Let me tell you that an engine for good work will arrive from Scotland tomorrow. The news was received with acclamation. The next day, the inspector brought news. Sir Topham had stared. Did you say two engines, inspector? Yes, sir. Then send the other one back at once. Certainly, sir. But which one? Sir Topham had stared again. Engines have numbers, inspector, he explained patiently. We bought number 57646. Send the other one back. Quite so, sir. There is a difficulty. What do you mean? The two engines are exactly alike, sir, and have no numbers. They say they lost them on their way. Sir Topham Hatt seized his hat. We'll soon shuttle that nonsense, he said grimly. The two engines greeted him cheerfully. I hear you've lost your numbers, said Sir Topham Hatt. How did that happen? They may have sell us a thus, sir. You know who it is. The engine spoke in course. Ah, no. Accidentally on purpose. The twins looked pained. Sir, you would never think them also on purpose. I'm not sure, sure, said the top and hat. Now then, which one of you is 57646? Six, six? But, sir, it's just what we can't kind of mind. So top and hat looked at their solemn faces. He turned away. He seemed to have difficulty with his own. He swung round again. What are your names? Donald and Doogie, sir. Good, he said. Then your controller can tell me which one of you is which. Okay, you will not get much help for him, sir. Why? He doesn't know our names, sir. Who could he? We only get our sales names after we lost our numbers. One of you, says the top of the hat. It's plain truant. I shall find him out and send him home. Inspector, he ordered. Give these engines numbers and shut them to work. He walked sternly away.